welcome to more obsessive behavior. We are back with more Real Littles backpacks and Real Littles handbags, Disney edition. For those of you who don't know, previously we've done Real Littles Disneys in so many forms. And I have to say that these backpack miniature charms with real stationery that you can use are absolutely adorable because they are so well customized. And let's not speak of their other handbags and other backpacks because they are <laughs> So... Let's not talk about the other ones. We've also done a Real Littles Haribu collection. By the way, I am now aware that it is Harry Bow and not Harry Boo. So thanks to you grains for educating me. However, I do say it a few times wrong in this video because I recorded it before. And for those of you who don't know, this is a collaboration with a candy company. Yes, gummy, gummy bears everywhere. Whoa. Oh, look at them gummy bears. Oh, 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 oh. By the way, it comes as no surprise to many of you grains that I'm a huge fan of vinyl figures. More specifically, mystery box vinyl figures by Pop Mart. If that name sounds familiar, it's because I've unboxed their figurines in previous videos on my channel Nerdy Jackie. And so when they approached me about their current new event for you grains, I said yes! On August 17, as of 9 a.m., Pop Mart is going to launch their newest series, Skull Panda, The Mayor of Animals, and Hirono Little Mischief series. And these are all part of the AliExpress brand day, which is kind of like Prime Day. And the event on AliExpress is between August 17 and the 19th. And just to show off some of their figurines, I have this adorable Deku in the Kitchen, which is an adorable series by Pop Mart. I love everything about the details, especially that it says organic on the box. Let's unbox a couple. <laughs> we got the steak caveman. Here it is, and the head does move. Next, what will we get? I'm really hoping for the ketchup. Ermig! <laughs> no! We have the ketchup! <gasps> Comes with fries. Ermigur, the quality on these have not changed. I am still a huge fan. And the collector card. And if you want to see me unbox more, keep an eye on my second channel, my TikTok, my Instagram, a little bit of everywhere. And when you go on their AliExpress page, you're going to be getting special coupons, special gifts, and limited edition product release on their platform. And if you check my link down below, you'll also be getting a code specially for you grains for anything Pop Mart related. Again, check my link down below and the code to get special discounts. Thank you Pop Mart for making amazing figurines and sponsoring today's video. And once again, I have my friend Ace of Clay to thank because these are not available in Canada. I had to get them through the US. So what I did is I sent Salty Crafter on a rocket ship and then I sent Salty Crafter on a horse. I don't know why she insisted that she be riding a horse. So I'm like, okay. And then she got to Ace of Clay. Ace of Clay packed it all up and sent her back. And she decided her other mode of transportation was going to be a unicycle. I don't know what's up with Salty Crafter, but you live your best life, my friend. And so the ones we have today are from Toy Story, the aliens that go And then we have Raya, which I have a bone to pick with, but I won't, I won't get there yet. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Let me know in the comment section below if you can guess why I'm not too pleased with the Raya backpack. And then we have Tinkerbell, and it looks cute, but I feel like it could be inconvenient in certain spots. And then we have Lilo and Stitch handbag. This one looks very much so summer and beach, so I'm really excited to see what we get inside. Let me know in the comment section below if you were going to have a backpack, which one would it be? And for those of you new to this channel, I do wave more shirt pointy things. You see, you made me lose my words. I do wave it gently. Okay, it's out of love. We got all notifications while you're there. So I feel like let's start with the oddball, which is the handbag. So we're gonna bring you here, and then the rest. I'm just gonna move you right there. There. And as you see, we have from Lilo and Stitch. The design is absolutely gorgeous, but I do have one itty bitty tiny whiny fear is that the bag on the inside is not going to be the surprise itself. We're gonna have a bag within the bag. Over here it tells us that we can get seven different surprises. Let's see what kind of options we can get and we can get the snow globe. We have spent hundreds of monies on the real littles. Not a single limited edition of the, the, nothing. We never got any of the limited edition snuff stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> so it does show a snow globe but I've never seen it. If anyone has ever seen it please let me know if it does exist or if it is a unicorn flying away as one does. Uh, wait unicorns don't fly. <laughs> 
Stop yelling! Stop it! I can already- I can already see you in the chat like this. Dear Nerdy Crafter, you done messed up and you did it wrong. Sincerely, a grain. We can get anything from a brush, a nail file that's going to be stitch themed no away, stickers, a pen, a magazine, sunglasses, phone case, oh my god, bandages, water bottle, a pouch, and a bag tag. I have to say this set is really exciting, but we can only get seven of these, so if I have to get any, what do I want? I definitely want the nail file, the phone cases. I mean, look at the, probably the magazine and the pen. All the rest, I'm impartial to, which means time to see what we get inside. Oh yeah, well it, it is it is quite cute indeed. Yes, we don't do the high pitch voices. In all honesty, this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the bag. It really does remind me of a summer vibe. I think that's basically what it's going for. We do have the two straps over here, which I'm assuming we're going to be getting the clasp on the inside. And what are you? There you go. We have a baggie inside the baggie because it is pretty translucent on the inside. But it do be cute though. I'm not sure if it can fit a lip balm, but let's try. This is my salty lip balm. Oh, look at that. You have a little bag for your lip balm. <laughs> and I wasn't joking, it is it is a salt. Himalayan pink salt lip balm. Very nice, actually. And we have our bag in here. Are you sealed? And the answer is yes. And since it is a white bag, let us bring our, our friend the felt scissors. And we gonna chop you up. Voila. So let's not peek on the inside. And let's take one item out at a time. The first thing is, ooh, the sunglasses. Okay. And it has, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be pineapple or the palm trees. And they do open up. I'm guessing these are a good size for probably a Barbie type scale. A little on the bigger end. And the glasses case are a kind of sparkly yellow, which makes me think it could be pineapple. Either way, pretty cute. And it does close. And then, oh. <gasps> Okay, 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 don't panic, don't panic. Wait, panic? We have a stitch phone case. I don't know what's going on with the mouth over here, but usually if we have the phone case, we should have the phone and another phone case. So let me feel for something rectangular. There you go. I like this one a lot. Oh, that is cute. I like this one much better than the previous one. Let's feel for another rectangular thing. No. Oh, I don't know where it is. Did we not get the phone? Oh, I don't know where the phone is. Okay, we'll figure it out. <gasps> Figure it out. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. We gotta figure it out. So in the meantime, oh, we have, oh my God, nail filers. Yes. Oh, these are so cute. So we have two of them, one pink, one yellow. I didn't mention this previously that I do like these tiny nail files because I do get fixated on my nails sometimes. I'm like, you need to, you need to be filed down. So I like to, I like to keep these. And the designs on both of these are very different. We have a foliage kind of background. Here we have pineapples and flowers and a little bit of foliage, but I like that they give us two. I kind of expected only one. Next, ooh, 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 ooh. too many things. Okay, let's just not look. Too many things. We have a bag charm. So for those of you who don't know, it's basically a charm that goes on your bag and your bag, this one, goes on your bag. It's a, bags everywhere. It's a charm on a charm on your bag. And then this thing, okay, the stickers. These are so tiny, army gear. And they are a transparent background from what I could see. Let's find out. I think so. Let's do a quick test. Oh my gosh, these are so tiny. Yes, these are transparent backgrounds. Which means if you wanted to embellish your resin, you can definitely do that. Next item, oh, this is a big one. Oh, look at that. We have the pouch that I really don't care about because these things are kind of useless. I mean, it's cute, but it do be useless because you can't really use it in real life for anything. It doesn't lock, it just kind of stays open and I don't see a real purpose for it to be very honest. Out of all the things I would have been happy not getting. And then we have a brush, actually the next thing I didn't care to get. The design on the brush is cute, but again, I, yeah, I guess if you're if you're really collecting BJDs or any kind of doll, I'm not sure if this is the right kind of brush that you would use. I'm sure some of you are already educating me in the comments because y'all be like that and I love you for it. But again, this is not interesting for me personally. It's not like I'm gonna brush my Ninja Turtles hair. They don't have hair. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Here's the phone. <gasps> a selfie. That's cute. That is cute. Let's put the phone inside the phone case. 
like so. That is very nice. And you can see the camera peeking through. No wonder I couldn't find it. It was like all the way at the bottom. And then, of course, the clasp, which is blue. So you could put it kind of like on both, I would say. And you get to carry it around. Voila. And here's everything that we got in the Lilo and Stitch handbag. Everything is so customized, unlike some of their other editions. Minus the brush and the actual the, the pouch that I really don't care about. It was still very customized and to theme. So I'm going to give this an 8 on 10. Next we have Raya. And do I love dragons? The answer is... However, this is a missed opportunity. I understand they're trying to get the main of the character, but why couldn't we have a dragon looking character as the backpack? I don't see any reason for it to not have been a dragon face. My opinion. I mean, this one has a face, so don't tell me it can't be done, okay? It can be done. It's just how about how much effort they wanted to put into Raya, okay? Okay. And in the back, it looks like we can get a holographic notebook, a pencil, sticky notes, a zip pouch, a postcard set, looks really cute, and some stickers. How many surprises? Six. Wait, isn't that everything? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, so are we getting everything? They're not surprises anymore? Because these ones were surprises. We clearly didn't get everything in the back. Clearly. Especially, especially not the limited edition. Not for me, of course not. But here it says six surprises and we see all six things right here. And apparently the limited edition for this one is a flashlight. Will I get the flashlight is the question? Hmm? 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 Probably not. It's okay. This is my life now. But I guess... Let's see if they're actually surprises. Okay, look at that. That is really pretty. We have an iridescent backing to an otherwise fluffy. Oh, so soft. Oh, you know what I'm doing to you. Oh, I'm gonna put you on my face. Oh, I'm gonna rub you all over my face. Yeah, you're so soft. What? But holy shrimp, this is soft. This is probably the softest I've ever felt any of these to be. And the iridescent is really pretty. Really, I hope it's shining through on the camera to show you just how beautiful this is. And we do have a zipper. Oh, very smooth. Ooh. 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 <laughs> And okay, we don't have a bag within a bag, which is a good thing. So we can start pulling out the surprises directly from within. Oh, the first thing we have is the pen. Oh, oh so soft. Oh, yeah. I'm so soft. You knew this was gonna happen. Stop pretending. <laughs> and let's take out my pad of pen testing. And you, wow, juicy, thank you very much. Oh, that is really juicy. Okay, pen is great. Other than the floofiness, I can't really tell that it is Raya themed. Next we have, oh, that's a big one. <gasps> oh, look at this, look at this. We have a holographic notebook. And I really love the fact that it's cut in the face shape and it's blank on the inside, so you can either take notes or do mini sketches of a larger sketch so you don't have to waste bigger papers. And we have scales in the back. Okay, very cute. I like this a lot. Next, I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna get everything that was shown in the back. I feel a lot of square things. Which square thing do I pull out first? What is this? Okay, hang on, let's pull out the, the postcards because clearly we have postcards. There, we have two postcards. We have the monkeys, this one's nice. And the next one here says strong, cute. It's not It's not shiny or anything, this is just my own reflection. And the back does look like an actual postcard where you can put the address, a little note, and a stamp, which means we should actually also get the stamp. We don't have an extra detail, just the kind of like these little flower looking things up here. Whereas in the Haribu one, we had a detail of the bear on the other side. And and we got the stickers! It's not cool if it's not a surprise. Holy carp, I think they stopped making it an actual surprise. Don't call it a surprise if it's not a surprise. There should be a, sec a second sticker sheet, I believe. We're gonna check at the end if we actually got everything. Yes, there you go. So we have the second sticker sheet. I love that we have a full body right here. Next, oh, there we go. We have the pencil case. 
with the kind of ziplock opening and closing like us all it's not the worst pencil case i've seen but it's not the best either it's kind of plain next oh what's what's this oh the paper pads yes so we have the sticky notes i love using sticky notes every time i'm reading a book i know i'm old school but i like reading books and i do take a lot of notes when i'm taking when i'm reading so it's we have a clasp. This one is kind of an icy blue color. It works. It works with the iridescent color. So good choice. And then we should, yes. Okay, we should get the stamps, but they're usually kind of hidden on the inside. So I'm just gonna pull that out. There you go. And these are the stamps. You can see that the border around the stamp is in fact a bit of a ridge right here, which makes it look a lot more like a stamp. And it looks like we actually got every single thing here. It's not a surprise. Don't do that. No. Like what was in here was a surprise because we had a pool of items and you didn't know what you would get. But this series legitimately tells you every single thing you're going to get, which removes half the fun. And we, we still didn't get this one though. And so here's everything we got in this backpack. I have to say the fact that they gave away what was on the inside instead of a pool of items kind of removed from the experience for me. So I'm going to downgrade this one down to a 7.2. Let's move back to the actual surprises. And this one is from Toy Story. I've said this multiple times previously, but I've never actually watched Toy Story. I just couldn't get into it. <laughs> But I do basically know the stories and the characters just because, you know, the internets. And I love the aesthetic of this bag. The fact that the front is actually the face of one of the aliens. Then we have more aliens in the back and we actually get surprises. Ooh. <laughs> Why am I like this? So we can get any of these here. We can get stickers, a pen, a notebook, stamps, pencil case, postcards, sticky notes, or a bag tag. And also the, the snow, snow globe. If there's anything that I do want, it's the stickers because they kind of look like puffy stickers. And I really do like the pen because it's a triple decker. Deck decker? It's not a double decker like a bus, but a triple decker. Like a, a, three scoops of ice cream. So let's see if we do get it. And here it is. Oh my god, let's. Why is your ear caved in? Okay, oh, there you go. <laughs> That's cool, but usually these front zippers are useless. It can't really fit anything to my knowledge. Here is a lip balm for, you know, scale. It's a standard lip balm size. So you, you could probably put maybe a couple of stickers in here, but that's about it. But they do have an actual zipper. So the quality of this is like a real backpack. And here we have the two other aliens and it's kind of like a space glitter in the back. Everything very smooth though. And I don't know if you can tell, but here's one color and here's another color so there's definitely good attention to detail here unlike Raya the, the Raya backpack yes it was nice and iridescent yes it was nice and soft but there was some 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 passion missing right there oh I'm gonna put you on my face and when we turn it around the accent color over here is a light blue and then the strap is already out why why is this one special okay we have a minty green color let's see what surprises we get. Okay, let's start off. Oh, that is huge. Holy shrimp. Okay. Oh, there's actually stuff on the inside. We have the pencil case and it does say, ooh, and a crane machine. These are adorable. And even the background has more little aliens. Okay, very cute. Let's see what's in there. Oh, okay. First thing we have is a ruler. You have the inch side right here. And then when you flip it around, you have the centimeter side. And then these little, what's it called? Stencil things are not useful at all. The only way that you can actually trace them is maybe, maybe with a mechanical pencil super thin and you have to push it out as much as possible because some details like the little antenna over here are really hard to get and if not impossible with an actual pencil. So I feel like they could have added maybe a kind of mechanical pencil if it were to be used with it, but the gradient of a kind of space theme and glitter, very cute. Next, I really wanted this one and I got it. Ah, oh my gosh, yes. We have the triple decker alien pen we have with no well the mouth is closed mouth half open and then mouth fully open again with the glittery type of theme uh this pen was not my what my mind went straight to the gutters <laughs> i'm just gonna say 
Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> And they feel like a hard plastic. So there's nothing rubbery. They're not like an eraser. It's really a hard plastic for the top of the pen. Let's take our pen tester. And the answer is very juicy and nice and purple. Very nice. Good for you. Look at that. And then in the pencil case, we have stamps. So tiny, so little, so baby. Let's see you up close. Here we have, is that a pizza? So we have a pizza and a pizza of the alien and it is already cut in the stamp format what I don't like about this one specifically and I guess that's why they updated is that when you remove them since they are stickers when you remove them directly from the sheet itself it's going to bend because you have to try and get the edge as much as possible before oh gosh before there you go before oh gosh oh boy there you go before separating them so sometimes if you can't get the edge it will bend quite a bit but I am a master of stickers so I, I can do it and that was everything in this little pencil case. Very cute. Next, what do we have? <gasps> the stickers! They're me cute! Again with the pizza, we have the mushroom planet, an alien, and ooh. And the background for the sticker. You can actually create tiny stickers if you have a punch hole, a, a paper puncher. Is that what they're called? The, po the hole puncher for the papers. <laughs> this thing right here. And you can make mini, mini stickers if you find a complete one. Actually, so far there's only one complete one. All the rest are kind of cut off but i love it and they're puffy stickers too they're not extra puffy but they do have some nice squishiness to them is there anything up there's more it still has more oh my god oh no <laughs> we have the bag charm which is an alien inside the spaceship that is absolutely adorable holy shrimp look at that that is cute Brrr. no that's a car there that's your spaceship wait are we getting everything what is this? No, the postcard! Oh, it got bent. Oh no, oh no. I have been chosen. There's the alien. And then this one, no. Oh, that's too bad. This one is definitely bent. Are there crevices? Are there crevasses? Not too much. It's savable. It's definitely savable. So here's the first one, and here's the second one on the back. Oh, look at that. We also have the detail of the aliens. Remember, that's what I'm saying, is the Raya one was missing something. They, they just put flowers. Why not a dragon? Dragon face. There's a lot going on in that movie. But you have the spot where you can put your stamps, the address, and whatnot. Now, obviously you're not going to mail this, because this is going to get lost in the mail. So don't try it. You can maybe put it in a bigger envelope and then send it if you want. And that is everything. Oh no, it is not everything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have a sticker, not a sticker, a um, num, 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 note, note thing. I just said the name earlier. Mm. Like a note, mm. sticky notes, sticky notes. And these are even cuter than the Raya ones. So we have the sticky notes over here. And you don't just get one or two or three. You have all of these. Okay. It said seven surprises, right? Yeah. How many did we get? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. We got eight. We got eight. Did we get everything? We got, no, we got everything minus the notebook. We got an extra one. Okay. I'm not complaining. We got an extra one. <laughs> And here's everything that we got in the Toy Story backpack. Absolutely adorable. I love this experience. Bonus points for having gotten extra, I guess. Unless they're counting the postcard and the stamps as one, but I don't know about that. I'm going to say that this one is probably my favorite in this set so far, so I'm going to give it an 8.5. And now for Tinkerbell. Now we know it says surprises, but it's not surprises. I would otherwise not have any issue with it if they just wrote six accessories included instead of saying six surprises because now we know we're going to get all of this, which I'm not going to spoil. So we're not going to take a look at it because we're going to get everything. We'll double check at the end. But basically this is what it looks like. We have Tinkerbell. The wings are kind of scrunchy. I'm guessing that's the effect they wanted, but let's not waste time and see what we actually get inside. Since this is a white backpack, our felt is coming back, and now we can look at it properly. Here we have the wings, so it's the back of Tinkerbell. I know so many people love Tinkerbell, I've never been a huge fan. Then again, I haven't watched Peter Pan since a long time ago. I think the last time I may have watched it was when I was a little green and it aired on TV in Egypt. Probably, perhaps, I think. And the wings are a shiny gold. It's a seemingly very simplistic design, but it adds, but it... English. Cooperate, please. <laughs> 
what I was trying to say. It's in, it's, apparently I can't say it anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take some English. Please hand over some English. Thank you. You will get them back at the end of the video. They're automatically dispersed back. Even if I don't say it, they're given back to you. Don't worry, that's good. I'm gonna eat them now. We can't lose English at the end of a video, okay? <laughs> so as I was saying, it is a seemingly simplistic design, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It has more of a mature feel to it. And I would absolutely wear this because then it looks like you also have wings behind you from the front. Because since you'll be wearing it this way and the wings will stick out, it looks like you have your own set of wings. And as you can see, the accents are a kind of treasure gold yellow, and it is a white bag. Very smooth zipper, oh my God. Very smooth zipper. It reminds me of the Haribo backpack, actually, that we did in a previous video. The one with the cola. That one was also very nice. And let's start, okay, I'm gonna start with the biggest thing I can feel, which is, there you go, we have a Tinkerbell heart notebook. Again, this one feels like a more mature audience that it is targeting. Very, very cute. And again, I love the fact that they cut the notebooks into the shape of the characters and you get a lot of pages for little sketches, little reminders, whatever and whatnot. And with this golden sheen to it. Next, let's pull out the big stuff. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. Here we have two Tinkerbell postcards. One with just Tinkerbell kind of looking pensive. She thinking about things. She like, why you call this a surprise when it's not a surprise? And then over here, what is this? She leaves a little sparkle everywhere she goes. Okay, very cute. And she, we have a little Tinkerbell here and the back of the postcards. Let's see what details. Not much effort was put into these. So the back, unlike the Alien one and the Haribu collection, this is similar to Raya where they just kind of put a border. But we do have details here. We do have Tinkerbells where you're supposed to put the actual stamps. Again, with the addresses and where you can write your little notes. But they are cute. Not something I would look for, but they're cute. I can appreciate them. Next. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. We have a Tinkerbell uh, pen. Okay. Now, from this distance over here, I didn't see a set of wings. I personally saw a bunny head with bunny ears. Do you see it? That's basically what I saw, but you have to get really close like this over here to be able to see that it is supposed to be a set of wings. And what color shall this? Oh gosh, there we go. What color do you think it's going to be? Purple or pink? Here's our notepad. And the answer is... Yellow, interesting. Very bold choice of colors because not you're, you're not gonna see yellow very easily on paper. So that is a very bold choice. Interesting. Part of me was thinking it would be yellow, but I didn't think they would actually do yellow ink. Okay. Oh, 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 and then you are stickers. Oh, that is cute. Why does she look like she didn't sleep? Never mind. I take that back. <laughs> We have Tinkerbell, some stars, we have Tink, we have Heart, and here we have more Tinker, Tink, Tinkerbell. This is really cute, I really love this style. And again, more animation type drawings. And then, oh, two things, okay. We have a Tinkerbell shoe, I believe those are her shoes. Again, very sparkly, and this is a bag charm, so you can put it on your bag over here. It's odd that it would be green when nothing else in this bag is green, like literally nothing else. Maybe her dress in this sticker here but it was uh it's quite the oddball <laughs> but i get it and the clasp is a gold so that it can match the rest of the bag and i'm pretty sure we have stamps in there there you go oh oh gosh i got so scared i thought for some reason i thought these were roaches oh i got so scared oh the goosebumps oh oh no oh my little heart <laughs> I got scared. So we have items stuck at the bottom. Let's pull them out. Since we have the postcards, we also get these stamps because you can't have postcards without stamps. And we have these sticky notes. We have quite a few, again, and the design is with the wings and I guess you can write your note there. But with the gold pen, can you even write on this? Oh, it's really hard to see. Really, really hard to see. And so here is everything that we got in the Tinkerbell Real Littles surprises. Now, let's look in the back. Stickers, check. Notebook, check. Pen, check. Sticky notes, check. Postcards and bag tag, check. We got everything except for the limited edition item, which again, we have yet to see a single one. So I don't know why they changed this new edition where they go from surprises to actual items. I don't get it. But as I said, here's everything that we got. Everything was indeed themed. It's really cute. I'm not a huge fan of Tinkerbell but the experience was there. Much like the previous one where they told us what the surprises were, I'm going to still give 
give it a high-ish grade of 7.2 because they're still good quality items. If you want to watch the previous Haribu Real Littles collection, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch some fidget toys, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.